pick up. <laughs>
Hellcat, so we've got a, a Challenger Hellcat, a Red Eye Jailbreak, Last Call uh, Challenger. Mm -hmm. We got a drag pack, which you saw last week, mm -hmm. and our, I guess this weekend. Um, got a ZL1 Camaro, like one of the last ones. Damn, I lost count. Heck, at one time I had like 13 or 14 Hellcat power vehicles. Damn. Yeah, I've had a Durango, I've had a Drackhawk, I've had a T Rex, I've had a Demon. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't get a Demon 170, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's, there's been a lot of them. Had a lot. But the old owner, if he sees me, is probably going to be ready to strangle me. So, <laughs> yeah, Did you tell him, would you tell him what you got going on no, with I it? No, I told him it was a thing yet. I'll wait, I'll wait until it gets to be kind of a popular thing. And <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Is that my car? Maybe. <laughs> 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 So we already got a name for it. What'd y'all, uh, isn't this supposed to go to Chris's? Did y'all, this is, this is hammer time. This is the last one. <laughs> like said, this is the last one. Come here, let me look at something. Hold on one second. Uh, yep, uh, these ain't even rated for the fucking weight that's on this car right now. Look, it's a, <laughs> look, we know it's a bad car. It's leaking. Like this thing's already leaking and crap. <laughs> What are we doing? Good thing we don't have the 22s on it yet. Man, I should, yeah, I'm, yep. Yeah. Probably should really put like a theft deterrent device in this. We got a name for it. Y'all y'all have a name? Yeah, we got a name for what it. What do you think? This is like a music, mutual decision too. Okay. So you know how you ever play Mortal Kombat? Yeah. The, well, you know how you got your car named Frosty? Yeah. But it needs to be changed to Frost. Okay. And we're going to name this one Sub-Zero. Uh, well, unfortunately, <laughs> um, we actually have already decided it can't go that way because see, it's a Hellcat, but it's going to have another emblem here that'll oh, have the coyote in there. So it'll have the Hellcat coyote. So we got to come up with some redneck name because me and Chris <laughs> were filming earlier and we're checking some stuff. He has this app and he's like, make me a logo that has a cat riding a horse. You should have seen the dumb crap that what? comes up with that. We're gonna say Hell Horse, but apparently that name's taken by somebody that builds turbos, so we can't do that. So this That's, is it. Yeah, this that... is our like the windows are busted out of it already. Did y'all get this at a junkyard? <laughs> yeah. Didn't you used to repo cars? Is this a repo? Is that that's what it is. This is a repossession. Hmm. Alright, well, this is it. This is the uh candidate for Behemoth Racing is doing their Coyote Swap, no, Coyote Swapped yeah. Hellcat Charger. So this is a 2016. Oh. It'll be the fastest charger on the street. Uh, this should be the fastest, yeah, a lot. Easy. God, what are we doing? We should call Chris and tell him, like, somebody robbed him. 
We're it, gonna come up with something. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with it and do some different stuff. But it this I mean the thing is like this is a really really nice car. Like this is a fully loaded carbon interior. Like it's a beautiful color. Mm -hmm. And like it's already got decent wheels on the back. We'll change the wheels up front. Um, from what I understand, we already have Kelly Aiken with Keltrex involved. He's going to set up some suspension for us on this thing. Um, the motor that's going in it's a Predator block um, Coyote motor, twin 76 millimeter turbos. I mean, this thing's going to be stupid. It should make 2,200 plus horsepower reliably um, and be street drivable. I mean, you can literally drive it on the street and this will be the only one of its kind ever anywhere. Nobody's built this yet. So this will be absolutely the first. So it ought to be pretty cool. I mean, it ought to be real when, cool. When we go have this thing up and running? Uh, Soon? Tomorrow, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we're picking up the engine. Um, we're picking up the, the short block probably tomorrow or the next day. We've got all the rest of the parts here. Machine shop's done with everything on that. Um, we already have the turbos. We'll, it's going straight inside right now. We're going to start fabbing some stuff up. We'll get the engine in here, get it put together and get it built, mock some stuff up. Mm -hmm. um, we're putting it on a FT600 fuel tech system for it. And we got to get a tank for the ice and the fuel for the trunk ready for it. Kelly Aiken's already involved and he's going to get us a set of uh, coilover conversion all the way around for it set up. And it's just, it's, it's all brand new. This has never been done. Yeah. What's crazy is like me and Chris Bailey have talked about this for a long time. We've talked about this for a year or two now. Before I even decided to get into the motorsport stuff, we had mm -hmm. just talked crap with Chris. And I, it's just fun camaraderie. Hey, we ought to put a Coyote motor in one of them, you know, heavy ass cars, mm -hmm. that, you know, because he's a Mopar guy and that's his wheelhouse. We're Ford guys, that's our wheelhouse. And we've always talked about swapping them just to have fun with it yeah. and see what it does. Cause like the biggest thing is you see like all these Fox bodies and all these other cars that are LS swapped. Mm -hmm. You know, you see every Mustang in the world that, and everybody thinks that Frosty, oh, what's in there, LS? Hell no, you know, like that's yeah. a Ford motor. So Lucas is known for being just absolutely insane with his builds and his Pro Charge Copos and all the other crap that he has that he deals with. So we just so happened to be talking crap the other night at the shop like one of our previous videos showed and mm -hmm. he said well, i got the perfect candidate if y'all really want to do it and i have the motor we're going to get the transmission we are going to go with a 4l80 in this which will put that in it's basically a turbo 400 with an overdrive mm -hmm. so it'll have the transmission that can do some crazy stuff and cool part is is like these cars come with a factory eight speed so the tunnel for the transmission is is big enough to house oh. everything for that 4l80e whereas on a mustang you'd have to modify that yeah okay. it's okay. it's insane what this thing is gonna what this thing will turn into so okay. just this whole idea behind this build is lucas loves running in the heavyweight class mm -hmm. um and so we are going to set this car up to be able to run um Man, a lot of street classes, uh, mm -hmm. but specifically heavyweight. Um, just because of the weight of these cars, these these Mopars are super heavy cars, especially a Charger. Um, so we're gonna set it up for, for heavyweight, and by having an overdrive transmission in it with the 4L80, he can still run overdrive class and all of that and make a ton of power and have a ton of fun doing it. So it is going to be purpose-built to be that and street drivable. Like yes, sir. it's going to be street drivable. So stay tuned and, and check it out, man. This is gonna be a badass build. Y'all y'all stay tuned and see what's yes, up. Yes sir, yes. No cat charger isn't gonna put a Ford engine in it. And they're damn sure not gonna put a fucking hundred and fifty thousand dollar motor in it. I, I said, mean that's the thing. Usually if something like this happens it's because this situation. Somebody has a parts car sitting somebody has an extra engine sitting and then they're just gonna put two together like a lot of things that happen too is like these guys will go out and they'll like some guys will go out and they'll buy a parts car like this but not an actual hellcat they'll go buy like a v6 challenger from auction rip the motor out of it and sell it and they'll put a v8 in it, you know just to just to have a faster car especially if you're going to build a race car um but to take a full-blown like this is a super clean super nice car i mean this car is extremely valuable so to take this car and and do an engine swap on it especially of this caliber like that's a it's going to be the first of its kind um oh it's probably even the first turbo 
Oh yeah. yeah. Car. Yeah. Yeah. Because they all come supercharged. Yep. Well, and, and Bailey's oh, is doing yeah. a lot of twin turbo stuff on their Hellcats and stuff now, but that's very recent, but it's usually twin turbos with the supercharger. It's like dual power adders, you know? Yeah. So um, usually they're supercharged with nitrous. This one's gonna be just two giant, you know, 76 millimeter turbos on that, on that really badass built sleeve block Predator. And, you know, I mean, this thing's got everything. Like this motor is gonna be, insane and then to put a 4l80 in it like nobody's ever going to think about doing that nobody nobody thinks about doing that so it'll be crazy and then the suspension we're putting on it will make it to where you know with the coilover conversion it'll make it to where you can do anything with this car i mean anything so there's not going to be another one like it and and if there is it, they're going to copy this one and want to know how we did it so oh, man that's <laughs> nuts that you see how long nuts. it's been sitting up josh it's been there for a while. A year and a half. <laughs> 2022. Steve. Where's Steve? Hey, we need to get the 14K lift ready. We got like a... Did you see the 18 wheeler they dropped? You know, Jeremy needs to do a repo. They repo the car. You know, that's four guys. We'll pay our payment. They repo the car. Hey man. Where did you guys dig that piece of shit out of? So Jamie, I said, Did you go repo a car? Do we have a theft deterrent system on this one? They steal the shit out of these. <laughs> Especially when they figure out there's a Ford motor in it. They'll really want it. This is gonna be the most highly sought after Hellcat in the world to be stolen. Because they're gonna realize that it won't break down. <laughs> Shout out Chris Bailey. What? Jesus Christ. That's a good way for us to go out of business immediately. <laughs> LS swap a Hellcat. Yeah, none expected. of your customers want you to be fine. Yeah, it's expected. That means anybody can do it. There's not anyone else that can do what we're fixing to do. If there was, they would have already done it. God bless. What are we doing? How many fat girls do you think we can get in the back seat of this? Nick, can Bobby, you get up. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Oh, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. What? Hell yeah. What? Hell yeah. What? Hell yeah. What?